Well, I, I think I think I think I kind of know what what the question is there, and then I'm gonna let Dr. Lozy same thing play by play. I'm gonna let you finish it up because you're the clinical person. Um, I have heard of a of, of a couple of rare cases of people being infected after vaccination, but there's a very important detail in that. People who are getting vaccinated, once again, that's why I stressed earlier, if you are being vaccinated or if you've been vaccinated, you still need to take precaution and cover your, wear your mask, still socially distance, because what happens is you still need a time frame. There's a time frame. You can get vaccinated tomorrow and you can get COVID the day after, because what happens is your body needs 12 to 14 days at minimum to generate antibodies that are protected. And even if that is the case, those antibody, that protection level is lower than it would be if you had your second dose. So in between shots and doses, you need to at least two to three weeks after, you still need to take those precautions and you need to do it even after. It's more of a social, you know, kind of a social representation at that point. Wearing your mask is, is a good, you're setting a good model for other people to wear their mask. So don't just start taking your mask off because now you've been vaccinated. But you potentially could get infected if you've been vaccinated if you have not yet gotten the correct antibody response that you need. So I'll let Dr. Alozi um, take that from there. Yeah, absolutely. I think you said it all. The key is if you've gotten it before, still get vaccinated. There's a chance that you could get vaccinated. And more importantly, there's a chance that you could have carriage, right? The immune response driven by the vaccine seems to reduce transmission, right? And so I think that really becomes the key. I mean, we can have a conversation about in a resource poor area where you're trying to make a, a decision between, you have a community like some places in Florida, the villages in Florida, right? 40 to 50% of their population above the age of 65. I probably wouldn't vaccinate people in that community that have already had it first because limited supply of vaccine I'm going to vaccine all the over 65 because those are the ones that have the highest risk of death and mortality and morbidity and then sort of trickle it back. But again, great question. 